What's up you guys? This is Nicole Glass and welcome back to the channel. I know I haven't uploaded a whole lot of videos this year, but I'm determined to change that. For those of you who are new here, I'm a photographer based in the Washington DC area. And one of the ways I make money with my photography and videography is by selling photos and video clips of, you know, various different things on stock media platforms. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about my top selling video clips on three major stock photography and videography platforms that I use. My top sellers are different on every single website, but I thought it might be interesting to see what does well on what platform. So let's start Start with Adobe Stock. Adobe Stock is a great place to sell, you know, commercial photos and videos. I'm not going to drag it out. So here's my top selling video clip on Adobe Stock. This is a video clip that I made uh, when I was hanging out with a friend outside in a park during the pandemic. And it's just a little video of her wearing a mask at sunset. Nothing too spectacular. However, this video was uploaded, you know, at the, uh, I guess at the height of the pandemic in 2020. And videos like these were doing really well for me. This video clip of course has a signed model release form and it's been downloaded a couple of times. Now I don't sell too many video clips on Adobe stock. I actually sell more photos there, but of the ones that do sell, this one is the number one for me. My second top seller on Adobe stock, you know, in terms of video content is this one. And that's people enjoying a day on the Potomac River in Washington, DC. I have a few variations of this video clip, which have been downloaded at different times, but basically this one does really well. It shows, you know, some of the culture of Washington, DC, you know, some of the things that people do here in the summertime. Now let's move on to Shutterstock, which is where I sell like tons and tons of video clips. So when it comes to all time video sales that I have made on Shutterstock, this one takes the number one spot. It's actually one of the oldest videos in my portfolio and it has accumulated earnings over several years. This is a bunch of people, you know, cheering at a basketball game. You can't really tell who the people are. You can't really tell who's playing. So it's kind of like a clip that can be used very generally anywhere in any place to kind of like transmit the energy of a sports game. The second top video on my Shutterstock account is actually this one. For this one, I actually got $1,050 for a single download on this video clip last year, which blows my mind. And I'm honestly not even sure how I made that much off of a single download. But somebody in my comments actually said they made that same amount once. So it's not just me. However, even though this video randomly earned like a really high amount on one download, I actually wouldn't consider this a top video because it doesn't have a large number of downloads. It's just an outlier and I have no idea why it did so well. The crazy part is that this video was just filmed with my iPhone 11 while I was out and about. I didn't even use my camera for this one. But anyway, as you can see, this is a video clip that, you know, documents the COVID-19 pandemic in some way, you know, it documented the closure of Washington DC. Okay, so let's move over to Pond5, which is one of my favorite places to sell video clips. My top selling video clip on Pond5 is this one. And my second top selling video clip on Pond5 is this one. Both of these video clips depict um, the BLM protests in Washington DC in 2020. And of course that was super newsworthy. And these video clips continue to get downloaded, um, not just in 2020, but all throughout 2021. And you know, I suspect they'll continue to get downloads through 2022. Stock footage like this can't be easily replicated. You know, you can't go back in time and go get that footage that you missed or, you know, set up a photo shoot with some models and like try to replicate it. Like you, you can't do that, right? So if you have footage like from a, you know, event that took place in the past, like something newsworthy, even if, you know, it was a long time ago, it might still be something that people have a need for. So, you know, it might be worth uploading to stock photography platforms even now. Anyways, those are my top selling video footage clips on, you know, the what I call the big three, like the big three stock platforms, but you know, there's plenty of other stock platforms 
these are just the ones where, you know, I tend to put the most of my content. And these days I mostly upload videos. I don't really do a whole lot of photography anymore. Anyways, if you want some tips for creating sellable stock video clips, then definitely check out this video right here. And let me know, what did you think about these um, top selling video clips of mine? Did it surprise you or was this sort of like as expected? Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you are new here, and I will see you in the next video. Have a beautiful rest of your day.